with the active weather we had last night, we weren't able to bring you Garden Gallery. So we have two winners tonight here on this Wednesday. We'll kick things off this evening with Denise uh, from Stewartville. Some poppies there from Denise. You win this evening and our second Garden Gallery winner of this evening is Barb from Canton. Some beautiful flowers there uh, from Barb and Denise. You can send in your garden photos to garden at KTTC.com. The email address there or join our Facebook community, which we're up over 600 people now. We had uh, almost 150 people join from just yesterday. So all you have to do is search KTTC weather photos on Facebook. You can join the community there. Send in your garden photos, your weather reports, and those beautiful sunset photos that we get about every, every evening. And we'll have a beautiful sunset tonight with those mostly sunny conditions 65 outside right now in the mid city wind still out of the north at about 12 miles per hour once we've had two different frontal boundaries move through we've dropped dew points all the way down into the lower 40s. That's why it feels so comfortable outside uh, so far this evening. Uh, Mississippi River Valley still looking at the mid 60s. There's 71 in Mason City and in Osage at 72 in Charles City. Future track radar clear skies. We have some rainfall off to the north and northwest will be dry tonight. Uh, our main threat for rain will come early tomorrow morning. Our next weather maker continues to move across the central Great Plains. Notice some uh, tornado warnings in the southern portion there of Nebraska through Kansas. Severe thunderstorm warnings with severe weather well down to the south and southwest. We don't have to worry about any type of thunderstorm activity tonight. But eventually, as this weather maker continues to move to the east, we'll see all the rainfall in the Dakotas impact us here at home early tomorrow morning. Now the rest of the night, we continue to have those temperatures lower 60s until about 8. We're dropping down 50s. 40s is what we'll start out with with temperatures for tomorrow with the chance for some rain. So let's track out the rain here at future track tomorrow morning. We'll start to work in the chance for some rain by about 6, 630. 7 o'clock, we should see some widespread rainfall. And then by 9 to 10 o'clock, we could have some moderate to even heavy rainfall as we move towards the early afternoon hours. Winds will be breezy tomorrow as well. Notice those temperatures were at 1 and still in the 40s. We might be able to squeak into the lower 50s for some areas, but a lot of us might just stay in the 40s. Now we continue to deal with some lingering showers until early Friday morning. Notice those overnight lows creeping down. We're close to the 30s. Overnight lows both Thursday and potentially Friday night. As we move through the day on Friday, we'll slowly thin those clouds out, end up seeing some sunshine, high temperatures approaching the upper 50s. Rainfall amounts, we still need some rainfall. We're still about an inch and a half to uh, inch and three quarters behind schedule so far this month. The good news is we could pick up another inch to even inch and a half in some isolated areas uh, through Friday evening. So quite a bit of rainfall on the way. I think most places will end up seeing about a half inch to an inch of rainfall when all said and done on Thursday. Memorial Day weekend still looking pretty nice. We'll see some isolated showers early on Friday morning. High temperatures only expected in the mid 50s, but then we're back to the 60s Saturday and on Sunday with some sunshine. Most of the day should be dry on Monday. Then we'll work in the chance for some isolated showers late on Monday, extending into Tuesday. 47 for that overnight low tonight. We'll continue to increase the cloud cover. Some showers late tonight. Tomorrow only 50 for the high. We're about 22 degrees below average. Breezy and rain likely. Rainfall amounts upwards of an in most areas. Seven day forecast 55 for the high on Friday. We're dry both Saturday and Sunday. Next week, high temperatures uh, bringing right back uh, pretty seasonable type temperatures into the lower 70s. Mark.